Hello, I'm Gus, I'm the guy who made Acorn, and today I'm going to show you how to make a nice little custom splatter brush for the uh, paint tool. To begin with, we are going to choose Shape, Process, Generate Shapes. Now by default, it's going to choose whatever's in your palette, and um, we want the fill color to be black, so I'm just going to click and drag the stroke color over the fill color so everything's nice and black. Um, so we got a bunch of great shapes in there, I'm going to increase the count a little bit. Um, change the radius down. And the next thing we're going to do is choose the pull shapes into a circle processor. And what this does is it pulls all the different shapes into, you know, the diameter of the circle for which is going to be awesome for our brush. All right, so so far so good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close the shape processor and choose the window brush designer. And I'm going to click once on the little canvas right here just to give it focus. I'm going to choose uh, Command V to paste. And as you can see, it adds our little brush right here. And I'm going to move it around. It doesn't look very good right now, but so we're going to change things up a bit. I'm going to bring the flow down, and I'm going to change the spacing to about 3%. And what this does is it draws the brush. Um, each brush stroke is a little set of series of stamps. And this just makes them closer together. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is make sure the rotate brush option is turned on. And yeah, it's, it's looking good. I think we can do a little bit better here. I'm going to go ahead and move this to side, bring this back over, and I'm going to choose window, shape processor to bring our processor back up. And I'm going to add one more thing right here. I'm going to choose scatter shapes. Now what this is going to do, since we've got everything bunched into a circle, um, that's great. It doesn't look completely amazing though, so I'm going to choose change the distance just so that we, we sort of push things out a little bit. I'm going to choose edit, copy merged, go back over here, hit command V to paste in there. Ah, oh, that, that looks a bit better. Um, it's not quite so round, it's, it's a little bit more random. Um, I still think things could be a little bit better though, so I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to close the shape processor. I'm going to choose window, layer filters, and I'm going to search, I'm going to use a blur, motion blur. And I kind of like how that stretches our shape to the side. I'm going to use edit, copy merge, paste that in there. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. One more thing I want to do. I think we can make the edges a little bit less opaque. I'm going to search for alpha multiply. Because what this does is it takes the alpha values in our images and, and it just brings them up quite a bit. So we've sort of got like a, a horizontal smear right here. Once again, I choose Copy Merge, go over here, Command Paste, and that's looking a bit better to my eyes. Now you can always go back to the Shape Processor. And since, you know, this is all random, you can change your brush up and have a couple of different styles. Paste that in, getting all kinds of different brushes. And then when you're done with it, if you're happy, you can just hit Command-S to save and, and you're all done. You've got a brand new brush.